Hi, my name is Craig from Equilibrium Digital, and in this quick video, I'm just going to cover a few things you could start doing to help grow your business. Um, I work with a lot of businesses in regards to search engine optimization and digital marketing, and uh, I just like to help people out. So here's a, just a free uh, SEO audit. Uh, I'm just going to scratch the surface on the things you could do, but I um, just wanted to go ahead and, and go over this and kind of do a little bit of a, a, a learning slash... Uh, example of some things you could do. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first things first, just uh, scrolling through, I like the page aesthetically. Um, you've got these little chat bot helpers that are cool and you can see some of your um, reviews. Um, <clears throat> I really like this area as well. So the design is good. And you also have another thing that's very important, that's going to be content. So you want to have a minimum of 1500 words or more in order to be fully optimized with Google and their uh, algorithm. And I can tell that you definitely do. But just to double check, we can click this button here. Now I have a tool called SEO Quake installed on my Google, which you can get for free in the Google App Store. And we can see that you have a total of 1,880 words. So you're definitely meeting that 1,500 word limit, or minimum rather. Now the second thing I want to talk about is going to be keywords. So what exactly is a keyword? Well, a keyword is anything in the search bar in Google, Bing, Yahoo, whatever. But we're focusing on Google today. So this right here is a keyword, that full thing, Baltimore Roofing Company. Now, it can be anything typed in here. It could be one word, three words, four words, six words, whatever it is. But this whole thing is considered one keyword. And the way keywords work is when something's typed in, the algorithms on Google scrub all the websites that are registered on Google trying to find those words or that word phrase so i did this because i know you service baltimore and it was just one example and we can see your number one competitor is right here this charm city roofing and you're saying it's number two well it's actually your number one competitor because this is angie's list so um i went to their website here and we can see their website's also pretty good uh, very similar aesthetically to yours they've got a few videos they, they look like they probably have less than 1,500 words, or they're really close, which, so let's take a look, 745, yeah, they're half of what they need. But now, although that's important to have, what's going to be more important is the keywords they're found for all their website and their SEO. So let's dive into that real quick. Now, here's another tool we use, I use called Arifs, and you can get this as well. It is $200 a month to use, or $250 rather, a month to use, but it's great because you can see everything about your website. So this is yours. I just simply plugged your URL in. We can see you have a domain rating of 9, and you have 780 backlinks, and you're being indexed by Google for 61 keywords. Now this is your competitor. They have a domain rating of 8 and a URL of 23. They have 1.1 thousand backlinks, and they're being indexed for 1.3 thousand keywords. That's crazy. But let's look even deeper and see what keywords they are being found for. So we can see they're being found for Charm City Roofers, obviously. Um, roofing Companies Baltimore. Uh, let's see what other... Uh, roof Repair Baltimore. Baltimore Roofing Company. Roofing Repair Baltimore, Maryland. Roofing Baltimore. Now these are just a few that they're being found for. As we know, it's one point. 6,000 or 1.3 thousand that are showing right now. But what I really want to show you is the volume. So this is searched 500 times a month, 500 times a month, 600 times a month, 1.3 thousand times a month. That is a lot of search traffic. And Google released that over 80% of people don't scroll past the first page. So if you're not in the first page, you're missing out on a lot of this traffic. Now I saw that you have 61 and you're in the top three for three of those. But just imagine if you had more. And we can actually see where this pays off. But what we want to focus on is the SEO. And that's my last point, search engine optimization. And that's primarily going to be ran from these backlinks. Now, backlinks are any website pointing to another website. That's basically what it is. It's a link from one to another. And it shares the power. And what you want to do is not only do you want to have more, but you want to have more quality backlinks. Quantity isn't always the best. If you have a backlink coming from a stronger website, and they have five from weaker websites, yours will often be higher. So that's the main focus. Now we can see they have 1,100 to your 780. And ultimately, that is going to be kind of a big deal, especially if these are high quality, which we can tell because their UR is a 23. But your UR is a 17, and your DR is even higher at a 9. And that's really what it's all driven after, is the DR. So ultimately, this is what ranks you in Google, is your SEO uh, strength. Now... 
how this all adds up and why does it matter? Well, we can see they're getting a le- or 1,600 clicks organically to your 292. And organic just means someone's typing something that they're looking for into Google, for example, Roofing Baltimore, and clicking on their website. Now, in closing, we discussed three things. We talked about content and how you're doing great and keep up the good work with having at least 1,500 words on that homepage. Secondly, we discussed the importance of keywords and all the importance on the search volume and how you want to be in the top. So the more keywords you're being found for, the more chance you have of being located. Thirdly, we discuss SEO, especially via backlinks, and how you need to have the most relevant sites point at you to show Google you're the authority. Now, if you implement these strategies we talked about today, there's no doubt you'll start climbing up the ranks of Google. But if you want to know more and how you can get to the first page of Google, go ahead and email me back or give me a call at 813-515-3450. Once again, my name is Craig, and I can be reached at 813-515-3488. I look forward to talking to you.